Hello. <clears throat> so, I got a new internet connection with three megabyte uploads. What would you recommend? And I'm so testing it so little time before my next by match. streaming. So yeah, it's been some few days since I uh, played play the game. Last time, I defeated the um, House of Valor, I believe it's called, Arena Challenge. Uh, I become the Lord of the Arena. Uh, twist of Fates. Despite of all odds, you defeated the champion of the Valor Arena. And claim the, the title of Grand Champion of your own. Okay, so this is, I think, about 20 hours into the game. Let's see. Yes, 19 hours into the game. Um, parts I di didn't play before. I played the game when it came out. Um, gone through all of those areas. But besides finishing the the quest here, I didn't think I don't think I I have ever been to this part of the game. So this is a role playing game with more emphasis on action combat, um, a bit um, spectacle fighter kind of thing, and it's a console for. It has some problems on the console board. Playing in the mouse and keyboard, it seamlessly moves from uh, mouse and keyboard to gamepad, but I found the gamepad even more restricting since I do tend to play on PC and not on consoles. Um, but my the main problem I have with the interface is that you can see below you have your active abilities and you must select them with the numbers but in order to cast them you need to press the right mouse button so uh, going between abilities is kind of frustrating especially in larger battles um, you have selection between your primary and secondary weapon I have uh, Chakram and Bow build. The Bow is my main weapon. The Chakram I carry because it's the best weapon I found so far. But I, I also have the skill in daggers and um, Fayblades. Let's see if I have Fayblades to show. Also, port wise, the inventory is terrible, but it's, it's manageable. So you can see the Fayblades are like. Um, the Elven War Blades from Warcraft, um, Demon Hunter style, and uh, they are kind of nice. There, <clears throat> let's let's check our quest and go do something. I was going to here, I think. Yes, let's jump quick travel here and see what's up want to check that the stream is okay before we continue as I said I just got this new internet connection and I don't really know if I can properly steam uh, stream 720p so yeah all all's fine okay let's go 
Um, you have to, uh, three talent trees. Uh, finesse, sorcery, and might. As you might imagine, those are your basic warrior, mage, rogue kind of deal, but you can mix and match whatever you like. And actually build your class. Um, the class, the classes are represented by those cards. You have a card for uh, the pure classes and then multi classes, and you can even uh, take all, all th three of them. Uh, and uh, each class requires, as you can see, um, a minimum amount of skill points. So I am right now uh, both sorcery and finesse. I'm a warlock, which give me a bunch of bonuses. Also give me a, a, the blink, a poison blink instead of uh, just uh, a dodge roll. Um, basically, every time I go through an enemy, I poison them. Eh, I missed him. That's weird. All the trees has some weapon specialization. The basic weapon special specialization uh, give you the charge attack, uh, like I did with the bow. There is also a charge attack for the. And beside that, it's really just increased damage and and stuff. Uh, you. You get attacks um, while blocking and attacks while dodging and all all those kind of stuff. And my dog is being sick at the moment, and that's kind of irritating. Guys with the shield actually block the arrows, and it's the first time I've seen something like that. Why does he did he, did he run away? They don't do that. They don't. My one ability is an always on ability. It's the those green things that comes out of my hand, which are um, which is a poison effect. It adds poison effect to all my attacks. But uh, as you can see, the upper left corner it also permanently reduced my mana. Oops, and I just drank a uh, healing potion instead of gathering those herbs. The world is filled with stuff to collect uh, herbs and gems and uh, blacksmithing pieces and all kind of stuff. And there are several crafting professions you can use, um, like alchemy to create potions and a uh, sage crafting, um, I think for jams and blacksmithing, all those things. Uh, I, I, it's not my kind of thing in the game, but you can certainly do it. I prefer to 
And there's a lot of enemies here. I, I won't go here at the moment. There are a lot of um, general. Um, how far is this place? Really far. There are a lot of general role-playing uh, skills I prefer to take, like uh, Persuasion, which gives you extra options in dialogue, and uh, of course Stealth Attacks. Um, what else did I do? Uh, Lockpicking to open chests. And let's actually see what my... Ability, no, not abilities, abilities, industry, status, skills, okay. So yeah, stealth is sneaking around. Every time you, you get this little image, the, uh, it's, it's a major increase in your skill. Persuasion is persuading people in um, conversations. You can often get out of uh, battles, not often, but... There are some uh, quest lines where you can persuade the. Um, wait a minute. I think I went offline for a bit and I don't know why. Well, I, I do record this, so this should be fine in the end. And I am appear to be live. Yes, I do appear to be live. Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, Mercantile give you basically um, lower cost and shops. Uh, lock picking is lock picking. Dispelling. There are um, cursed chests and uh, hidden items in the game, and there's a, a little mini game to dispel them, and this skill make it easier. I don't like it. The mini game is too difficult for me. And so I just um, um, ignore all cursed um, items. Detect Eden is one of the most important skills in the game because it lets you see not only um, hidden doors in, uh, in the lower level, 5 and up, but also uh, hidden stuff on the ground. And we will... And on the minimap, like this. That's an Indian object, and I get stuff from it. So I found it to be highly valuable. Um, you can respect your skill pretty much whenever, whenever you like. It uh, costs an increasing amount of gold, but like other games of this kind, you get so much gold um, during normal play. Like, I have over 300,000 gold right now, it doesn't really matter. You find a lot of things you can sell um, and, and just get, get gold from, um, from quests and stuff. I will say it's, it's a huge world. Um, I, I meant to say it about the crafting. Because of the... The game was originally meant to be an MMO, uh, but they had to uh, cut it down and release it quickly because they basically ran out of money. So they released it uh, for skin single player, but there are still MMO things uh, uh, you can see about it, like the crafting uh, and gathering of king, and like the size. There is a lot to cover. Be careful out the It's sound. not... Um, too annoying usually you you Looks like I'm in luck didn't expect to see so heavily armed in adventure uh, wandering cool into our camp are you interested in a job of course I'm I am. a fey beast situation I need to excellent a pack of wild fey have holed up at the Kenyan hill site you have get to the site and figure out why those good day okay uh, you can see also the uh, exclamation point and question marks 
uh, MMO style. Whenever you go through these areas, I know that this desert uh, uh, was kind of empty, but we did run across uh, plenty of creatures and stuff, and it, it doesn't seem like a lot to cover. Usually there are stuff to do, the, the world is filled with, with things. Now, this lock is an easy difficulty, and because I have uh, so much lock picking, I can just force it, and I don't need to to even bother lock pick it. Uh, this house, as you can see on the map, uh, it's going, yeah, it's going to be a, a, a manor, a, a, um, your your own house basically. Um, I have two of them. One I got early on in a quest to defend the village, and uh, at the end of it, the enemy I was fighting suggest I just kill all the villages, villagers uh, instead of fighting her. So I did it. And the second house I got was from beating the arena I was talking about at the beginning. Uh, in, in each house you have all the crafting stations. Um, so instead of going to some village and looking for the crafting station, you can just go to a house. And you also have a, a chest you can store things in. Okay, so we are here. There is a quest here. I want to take it before I move on. Um, the game came out in 2002, and I still think its its graphics are not bad. Uh, the, uh, the texture quality obviously is is uh, fairly low, but as you can see, but the, the 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 vistas are sometimes really beautiful, and they are a really lush environment, and every piece of gear you put on change your appearance and s stuff like that. This is a low stone. In ancient times, the desert had no shade. The sun burned the land to ruin. The rivers disappeared, and the animals hid underground. The people cried to Helios for mercy, but he didn't answer their prayers. As the plants withered in the heat, the hollow land echoed with the crackle of fires. Lowstone are cov um, spread across the, the entire world and uh, once you finish uh, discovering a set of them, like uh, in one location, uh, you get a bonus. So let's see, Lowstones, Lowstones. I got uh, this set for them for, from Yolven plus 10 uh, poison damage versus fate. This plus uh, six damage with fey blades and so on. I watch them day by day, their foolish meddling scampering to separate one piece of earth from a slightly different piece of earth. Fey know that the land will endure, will heal any wounds mortals can inflict. But I worry that these wounds may be long to heal. I cannot act. I am bound by our beliefs. But an agent of change could cauterize these wounds by making the century plants bloom. Oh, I can... You mortals are not bound as we are. A friend, but first, there are three century plants. Very well. So the plot of the game, you begin after you died in the battle and you were resurrected by a gnomish experiment called the Well of Souls. And you are special as in most games. You are um, separated from the fate of the world. And because of that, you are able to change destiny. Um, some of that you can see in the upper left corner. Never mind, let's just show you. I have this ability. A rage meter, basically. It has some kind. 
kind of blow that. that I don't know. Uh, fate twisting something like that. Uh, uh, you gain it over time when you fight and then you go into this rage mode and you basically unweave fate uh, uh, from those creatures. Where am I supposed to go? Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And also you can... Um, how do I get up there? That's strange. Um, and the reason you are able to uh, change your classes and your skill or uh, and so on is... I hate those monsters. Is because you are uh, this. This uh, thing that is separated from from fate. So this is the basic premise of the entire game. All those things you are able to do and all those things that happen to you are because you are special. I should have uh, kept the, the rage for now, like killing this big uh, thing. Uh, as you can see, uh, dodging and blocking. Blocking are a, a great part of, of combat in the game. You won't be able to survive for long without either uh, dodging or blocking. I, I personally prefer to dodge, uh, especially uh, since my class is rogue and I get the, the blink and the, the stuff. But. <laughs> What was I going to say? Every weapon has different attacks for, for the normal attack, the charge attack, the... Uh, dodge attack and block attack so you can chain all of the uh, all of those and uh, for greater effect this is a cursed chest which I'm not going to dispel it's it's a hard dispel I'm um, I'm increasing my dispel now so some of the dispels will be a um, Uh, automatic and I won't be uh, have to um, play the stupid minigame um, there are a lot of breakable things around towns and camps um, which basically gives you infinite gold like what each time it? you go back to town all the breakables are um, whole again you you are my contact I should have known. Punctuality is not one of your people's strengths, and you have so few. You may recall our mutual friend, Formerous Hughes, the gnome who brought you back to life. I suspect you would, but I gather you've been quite busy. Well, Scholar Hughes has been missing since the attack on his tower. As his patron, I am quite concerned. I want you to find him. You are, how shall I say? Uniquely suited to the task. But it's, it's my opinion that there's one hope that use us and find him, and you will be a So there are basically um, three mortal races in this world humans, elves, 
which have what is it? They, they aren't clo- called elf they are called elfar or, or something like that and gnomes no you can play gnomes you can only pay two kinds of uh, humans and two kinds of elves um, and gnomes or npc basically uh, the gnome was the one that brought you back and now you need to ask him question so you went to this guy which he he called the templar and the templar um sponsor what is it? the the experiments of the gnome um whatever you call them and this is a jumping off point there are a lot of them uh, to get you click quickly past uh, areas you've already been in for example inside dungeons uh, you will go into the dungeon in in a circle and then there will be a jump off point that will bring you back to the beginning to upgrade my phone as you can see my rage is bad and I can do the the quick time event thing to to kill stuff quicker I usually save it for bosses um, for me reasonable what else can I say about the game is it fun? Yes, it's fun if you like the um, uh, if you like the genre of it. It's it's an action RPG mixed with other kinds of RPG and other kinds of action game. It's it's a weird hybrid um, Skyrim meet Torchlight meet God of War kind of thing. It's fairly long. Um, the main campaign, kill of the like the oh, not this again. The main portion of the game um, is reported to last about ninety hours. And then there are several DLCs which can bring I forgot which uh, which can take you another 20 hours easily. I have heard of people spending multiple hundreds of hours uh, in different characters. And I must say, I'm thinking about playing it again in um, a might build with a giant hammer instead of this uh, uh, fast, roguish uh, mage kind of thing. Um, I don't use my staff a lot in open areas since there's always seem to be a um, a monster, that, a monster that can spot you. What I'm supposed to do here? I have a quest here. Make the sentry flowers bloom. Uh-huh. It, that that's yes, that's this quest. How do I do it? With the Ah, I have an item in my inventory. Inventory items. Petricor. Okay. Usually I can... Oh, okay. That did it. Okay. So yeah, that, that's what you do. You run ar- around in the huge map, you collect all the quests, then you finish them. Uh, some of a, p- a problem I have is that you can only track a single 
uh, quest the time. Yes, the um, minimap will show you uh, all quest completion in the area, but you can only track one in the main map. And it, it can be annoying a lot of times. Let's re-summon our dude. Oh, not again! Yes, I know I, I complain a lot about this random encounter. That's mainly because I'm new to this area. I don't, don't know what to expect of it. I haven't fought those zombie, zombie things. Ever. And I'm also more of a tactical... Uh, ...kind of guy. I prefer to know what fight I am getting into. I don't like random encounters. It's kind of annoying. Um, so here is the main quest, and he, those are the continuation of the making the land bloom bullshit. So let's try and find them. I'm sure we will find a lot of annoying monsters over there. What I... The main thing I like about this game is it's it's easy going. I I can that winged Saeed, start playing. Mediator of Earth and Sky came from a shower. I uh, That's which are great. I start playing, I um, turn down the volume, put up um, a, a YouTube video or a Twitch channel or a podcast or something and I can go for hours because it, it has a rhythm, a, a rhythm to, the, to it. I, I just... I just keep playing without even thinking about it and I think that's what makes this game uh, good I won't say it's some unique thing and some triple A narrative experience because it it isn't it takes a lot of ideas some of them it does quite well others um, others are lacking like I, I said about the the inventory system very lacking inventory system the uh, quick bars uh, all, all those kind of things that they didn't think about uh, for the PC uh, players and frankly I think uh, I would have expect they could do better even for console players it seems that the fire chakra was the best Um, a cool thing ha I had with this game is that um, it's nothing to do with the game itself, but I started playing it with with uh, in the same time as a friend on Twitter. And 
Commander. We just tweeted back and forth for um, life returned to the burnt stuff that happened to us, suggestions, tips, all sorts of things. And playing the game in this way with another person, even when we don't play together, but simultaneously. Is 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 a different experience. Oh, I don't have anything equipped to, to kill to kill them uh, stealthily. Fuck you! I, I I don't know why they they are still suddenly running away. It, it does, doesn't didn't happen before. Yes, and now I have all these corpses. Which obviously doesn't like. Uh, uh, some of the major combos. If you can go back and you can I'm playing on uh, on uh, casual difficulty, by the way. I never play those games on on higher level than that because I I just I just don't enjoy them. I I generally don't play games for the um, challenge. I like beating stuff up. I like winning and I like the story and I like uh, the progression I like finding stuff out and such making the game harder doesn't do anything for me. oh this is in even a thing I need to open <laughs> so yeah th there are those shrines like in Diablo and stuff which give you bonuses and like I said, they took several several things and, and mashed them together. So actually if I wasn't streaming this game I would have probably have a, a I don't know a YouTube video or a Twitch channel at the same time I was playing this and how will he go by? And that's it. And he ran away again. really <laughs> need to, f to to do anything but you get extra XP by um, by doing so Helios heard the call and looking down upon the desert grew irritated his mighty works were undone and his brilliance spurned 
They called Freka to it. They called the fiery god to strike okay. Saina from the sky. His quest. Freko had to get back to the end. As Saina was too yep, strong, he asked Helios to lend him some of his fire as well. We will finish this quest and then... And, uh, then we'll finish the stream. It will be 45 minutes. I think that's decent. I would like to uh, keep making these kind of videos and streams basically just showing what a game is when i play it i wanted to do it with titanfall but the beta is over so we need to wait a month dry winds. your eyes may not see the natural decay but i assure you it is there the little meddlers may do their worst the hololands will endure it and mend the wounds they make Okay, so that's farewell. The quest is over. Let us say goodbye to Amalur. And goodbye to you, dear viewers.